Hello, Facebook, YouTube. All right. Got a good man. I think I got a great message. And I, hopefully, my message are great. I guess it depends on the ear that is going to be great, the hearer or seer of my videos. But a duck is right over there and it's scratching over there. Hey, duck. The duck is over there. Oh, I hear some quacking. What? Whoa, look at all these ducks. Wow, a lot of these brown ducks. Bunch of brown ducks here, guys. Wow. Oh my goodness, a bunch of brown ones. Hey, bunch of brown ducks. How y'all doing, bunch of brown ducks? Wow, never seen so many brown ducks. Wow, where's the white and red ducks? Bunch of brown, whoa, it's a bunch, wow. I didn't know, I can't put it. It's all underneath the branches, a bunch of brown ducks. Wow. Where's all the red, you know, the red, white? You know, has only one out there. That's weird. Bunch of brown ducks. What you, what I'm, that's what I'm supposed to be expected when I come into the pond. Oh, man. Interesting. It was a bunch of them. It was some underneath the branch. I couldn't get, I couldn't record it because you won't see it, it's in the shade. But, there's a bunch of brown ducks today. But the topic of the message, oh man, this is a whole very important ideal aspect to look at the fear of the Lord. Ooh, this is very important. An aspect and how it's, because here's the thing, life is how we perceive it. Because that's what it says in um, Matthew 13. <laughs> Come on, oh, one gotta use the bathroom. Okay, wait a little while, you know. Uh, all right, he's done using the bathroom. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow. <laughs> so funny, I'm looking at the lady, the other dog trying to go, and she's like, what? Where are we stopping? And the other dog is using the bathroom, and she's like stuck. The dog. <laughs> so funny sight to see. You got to see the sight. It was very cartoonish, you know. It's like, you know, she didn't expect the other dog had to use the bathroom while the other dog kept going. All right, that's enough of that. Well, the topic of this message is very, because I was going, perception, yeah, because Jesus said in Matthew 13, he says, what you perceive uh, is, is, is they have, what a Nazi is talking about, they, they not perceive. He said perceive is perception, that everything, everything you do, Everything you say or everything you hear, sorry, everything you hear, everything you see will develop a perception. Everything you hear, mainly what you hear, mainly what you hear, gets more, uh, more likely weight. It gets more weight. Everything you hear and everything you see, you know what I'm saying, will create a perception you know, will create a perception. And that perception is going to either deliver you or damage you. It's going to either hurt you or it's going to heal you. But that perception of how you create within your imagination, within your imagination, it's going to be the tale of the tale. Are you going to have life and life more abundantly? Or is the wages of sin is going to lead to death just because of your perception? It's powerful. Aspect to un for you to understand concerning the decisions that you're going to make in your life. But let me get to the message. Well, the topic of this message. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm talking about David. David, uh, what was it? Psalms, was it? No, First Chronicles 14, I believe. First Chronicles 14, when it talks about David inquiring of God. You know what I'm saying? He inquired of God twice. And God gave him a different. First, he said, you can take the enemies on. You know what I'm saying? First, God said, you can take them and I will deliver your enemies in your hand. And the second go round, God gave him a different assignment. Or more likely, 
he gave them a different command oh yes he gave them a different command not the same command but a different command that we need to understand because that's because that's the topic uh, that will lead to the topic of this message called the reality of either you're in command or you're following God's command. Either you're in command or you are following God's command. Yeah, I hope let that meditate and marinate in your mindset right there. Either you're in command of your life. See, and that's what the system of the kingdom of God, it went right through the grass. Oh, goodness gracious. How you doing? Uh, uh, that's what the kingdom of darkness is all about. It's all about uh getting people to um uh believe that aspect you're in command it, you got it it's all about you it's all about me myself and i the cursed trinity it ain't about you it's all about me myself and i the cursed trinity is what what I'm trying to say concerning command. You know, you you can make you make the moves, or they got this. You know, you the boss. You do it like a boss. They got this. You do it like a boss. That trips me out right there. Oh, because you know, a boss is an ideal, a person that just is just run things, but always commanding people, telling people what to do. They mainly telling people what to do, but really they're not about doing what they're supposed to do you know what i'm saying they they want you to do what they say do what they say do you know what i'm saying that's really technically of a person that you know how that aspect of you are in a command i mean you are in a command you know and that's what but look david now watch what i love about this david was king david is now king over Israel the announcement came that David became king over Israel you know and now uh, all the Philistines says hey let's get rid of David because you know he's king of Israel he's gonna cause problems uh, to us as the Philistines our number one nemesis enemy and you know he, reputation he killed Goliath you know we got to take this guy out you know pretty much and they got all the Philistines out there and then all of a sudden David inquired the commandment of God he, he inquired the one that placed him in command let me say that again because this is very important he required so is it open excuse sir is this open or somewhat open yes somewhat open oh. yeah once in a while we got big trucks and Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, he inquired the commandments of God. It's just that simple, y'all. Of of knowing what needs to be done if things are going to be done the uh, right in the godly way. It's you know the commandments. You know what I'm saying. Follow the commandments. It's been all uh, throughout the Deuteronomy. Come on. You know, keep my commandments, keep my statutes, keep this. I will bless you and and make you prosper. But if you disobey my commandments, you know what I'm saying? I will curse you. But I try to try to tell people that, you know, really God doesn't curse nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like God doesn't really like curse you, but really you curse yourself when you don't follow it. You know what I'm saying? And that's another message. I, I gotta teach on that aspect, you know. It's kinda like, well, it's kinda like like you know, a, a referee of a football game, you know. A referee of a football game, you know. And the thing is the referee, 
is going to uh, uh, penalize you because you got all sides. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're like, why did the referee throw the flag? Well, you are off sides. You know what I'm saying? The referee didn't, you know, push you off sides. You went off sides, and that was a penalty. <laughs> you know? And they throw the flag out. You know? That's what the ideal aspect of that really God doesn't curse you, but you really curse yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you did not follow the rules of the game. You know what I'm saying? The, it's clear that the rules of the game, you can't do this. If you do it, this will happen pretty much. But anyway, um, the thing is, we supposed to follow the commandments of God. God created, God is to start with Adam and Eve. It goes Adam and Eve. If you eat from this tree, you're surely gonna die. God didn't kill Adam and Eve, well, make them die. They ate the fruit of the tree and then the then they died but god didn't make them die they disobeyed them see and that's how the idea of commandments oh, oh, uh, that's the ideal of commandments is supposed to work you know what i'm saying that people need to perceive that ideal aspect of you know the uh, that things because they because you know the atheists will tell you you know oh god killed a lot of people have a good day, man. Uh, God, uh, the, the atheists say, oh, God killed all these people. God did terrible things. Not, not, they're not going to talk about, well, did those people that living at that time, did they follow the commandments? Well, oh, God killed these people. God killed that person. God killed his, did, did they follow the commandments? And I, you know, and I get simple. It's like, it, it, you know, if the, there's like, you know, if electricity, you know, a fence is there, and the, the sign says an electricity fence, do not touch this fence, you know, uh, at all, you know, and you disobey that and touch the fence and you get electrocuted and you will say the fence killed you. It's just that simple, you know, that the ideal of your actions, of you not following the commandments is the reason why you're in the bad situation right now concerning that you to got a wing. You did not fear the Lord. You did not reverence and respect what he has created. You know what I'm saying? The, everything God created has serves a purpose. It serves a purpose for to bring rules concerning what it is. You know, a, a electric fence electricity is supposed to shock you you know what I'm saying it's not supposed to like oh I'm just gonna touch you I'm not gonna uh, try to fry you I'm just gonna touch you because you you touched the fence and I'm not gonna zap and put electri electrical currents all over your body I'm not gonna do that I'm because you touch me no electricity does not have a mind of its own it's like if you touch it zzz, it was supposed to shock you because that's what God created it for it's the same simple aspect rules of God's commandments. You know what I'm saying? God says, don't do this. Okay, you do this. Bad thing happened. Boom. That's what bad thing is supposed to happen. Because you disobeyed it. And everything that is created has laws. Which is the ideal, you know, that commandments are, are supposed to be understood. Understood concerning a purpose. But that's the thing about darkness. Darkness is all about saying, getting people within their hearts to not to desire to want to follow it based upon the lust of the flesh. And that's how Satan keeps everybody in deception to that you do not see the commandments of God, but you just want to fulfill the desires of your flesh, of a flesh that is all about feeling and and a feeling that will never be satisfied because guess what? God did not create our skin for fulfillment. <laughs> yeah, he did not create our skin that we will receive fulfillment. He didn't blew breath in our uh, skin and call it a living soul. No, he blew breath in our body. See, our body with, with inside ourselves is what brings forth life. And life, and if that was within inside of us concerning our heart and our soul and our mind. 
Now, watch this. I'm finna show you something. That's why God said, Jesus, God and Jesus says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind. These are the three spiritual important areas in your life of the foundation of the kind of person that you, that you are, your heart, soul, and mind. That is what's important that needs God to occupy these areas, you know, of, of your heart and soul and mind that you can fulfill your purpose and accomplish things as what David did as he accomplished great things and brought fear to the enemies of Israel, you know, and he did it off of following the commandments of someone that created everything with rules and regulations. And if you follow the commands, you will accomplish something. All right, All right. police all be take it easy. Police officers running by me. Um that's how it goes. I mean, the commandments is what it's all about of either you following his commandments or you're going to believe a lie that you're in command. Well, it's a simple idea. If you can die and resurrect yourself from the dead, then you're in command. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you're in command of your life, if you have the power to do that. No, you don't have the power to resurrect yourself from the dead and people that unfortunately die can't have the power to resurrect themselves from the dead they're not in command of their lives there's only one person is command come is in command of life and he is the life giver and that is god our father have a wonderful day uh god the father and our lord and savior jesus christ these are the only people that are truly in command of life satan is all about uh making people break their command there are his commandments to lead you to death because the wages of sin is death. As he's all about getting people to sin to break their commands. And how is Satan getting people to break their commands? Following their own command. Commandments, whatever. Command. They, they're in command. I'm in command. I'm in command. And that's how you, that's the trip on the road of foolishness to darkness to death, unfortunately. All right, that's the message. Hope you understand you're not in command. Follow the one that gave us commandments and truly prosper and not perish. To God be glory, him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.